Sue, Ani, um, wow, I get to come after Jake Tapper. <laughs> Thank you for those uh, kind and beautiful words, Colette. Um, I have so many people to thank right now, and I only have 30 seconds apparently to do it in. So here it goes, because I have a lot to say. Thank you to the Atkinson Foundation for this honor and this opportunity. I have to say a special thank you too to John Hondrick for your faith and taking to heart the truth and reconciliation calls to action. Thank you to my editor, Lynn McCauley, for teaching me how to use my voice. And thank you to Michael Cook for letting me use it. To my partner, Tim, and my kids, thank you always for being there. JoLynn Winter's last Facebook posting was on Saturday, January 7th, 2017. The 12-year-old girl from Wapakika First Nation posted this, wake up, pretend I'm okay, go to sleep. The next day, she took her life in her remote community, and two days later, her best friend, Chantelle Fox, also 12, did the same. Wapakika, a community of 430 people, was in crisis. They had requested emergency mental health funding from Health Canada for $380,000 just the summer before, and they were denied. These are just two Indigenous girls out of nearly 300 Indigenous teens who were expected to take their life within the next year. Exactly one, bef one year before their deaths, Anishinaabe Aski Nation, a political organization of 49 Northern First Nations, issued a call to action to the Government of Canada and the Government of Ontario to address the suicide epidemic. What does it say about a nation that fails time and time again to treat all of its children equally, regardless of where they live or the color of their skin? What does it say about a country that more, for more than 100 years forcibly imprisoned its children through the residential school system, and when it was all over, publicly apologized to its victims, but still, every day, continues to fail the descendants of those same children? What does it say about Canada? The time to change is now, and the path forward, I hope, to help with this Atkinson Foundation. Thank you.